are you interested in working in weather forecasting company or industry or you are passionate about weather forecasting but you are confused about the program you have to do at the university to um, achieve your career dream then you are the right place to get to know how to go about it in fact today we are going to look at bachelor of science meteorology and climate change bachelor of science meteorology and climate change in fact for those of you who are new to the channel my name is august Nisidu. the purpose of my videos is to introduce to um, university applicants or shs graduates or those who are intending of attending university to know the program they want to attend uh, they want to pursue in a brief so that they can at least know some of the job opportunities they have after pursuing that particular program so today we are going to look at this program and then some of the job opportunities you can enter or you can go into as soon as you complete university or your um, university time period so that you can um, be profitable due to high cost of teaching fees and other stuff okay so when you study meteorology and climate change or climate science but i am tagging k university because it is one of the best known universities for science and engineering programs in ghana and even in africa in the whole africa in the whole um in the whole africa so so if you want to go and pursue this program in fact they are well equipped with all the resources that they can train you more so that you can actually do your work well despite the fact that we have all sort of machines and techniques in fact um weather forecasting is sometimes not reliable that's why it's very hard for them to predict uh, weather um over 10 days it's not in ghana alone everywhere so um there's some faults and there's some um, shortcomings so for that one you don't need to bother but if you want to pursue a program or if you want to pursue a career in weather forecasting I think KNOS is, is, is one of the best universities that can um, help you achieve that career dream. So today we are going to look at some of the careers. So careers in weather forecasting. In meteorology and climate sciences, alright. So first one, which is weather forecaster. Yeah, weather forecaster, particularly working in um, government agencies to help us to know the weather. Um, when we talk about the weather phenomenon, we are talking about the wind, the atmospheric pressure, the cloud, the temperature, the rainfall, the precipitation, and other stuff. So you have to inform us that we will know the kind of attire that we put on based on your forecasting or based on, your, based on the information you are giving us so as a weather forecaster you have a lot to do and we are mostly um, benefiting from your services or from your information so we appreciate your um, contribution to the society you can also become military weather officer military weather officer in fact it's the same as weather forecasting but you work with the military so you are forecasting the weather or you um, study the weather based on physical um, based on statistical and physical um, um, features so that um, we can know what is happening in the atmosphere so as a matter of fact military or the, the army needs weather for officers so that they can forecast for them okay all right there are a lot of companies that you can also work in one is um transportation industry transportation industry in the transportation industry let me say the airlines and then um metro buses and other stuff in fact if there is any commercial um business in the transport uh, in the transportation industry especially the airlines or the um the, the 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 aerospace business in fact if we want to 
and fly or if a plane wants to leave but you are very very needed here because you have to study the wind where the wind is coming from how can the plane move when it faces the wind and what's going to happen in the atmosphere is there going to be a cloud is there going to be anything that will stop the smooth movement of the airplane you have to um, study and know all these things so weather forecasters mostly work in this area it's not about weather forecasting alone they mostly work in airports and, and um, airlines agencies and um, businesses and in fact you are very very needed in those areas let's also take some of them renewable energy sighting and forecasting yeah currently um in the energy production industry in fact if you study this force you will help us to cite a, a place that we can get renewable energy especially using the wind thing like using the wind to um, generate energy yes so if you are very good here you can help us to use the wind to generate energy i mean renewable energy so if you study this course you still have opportunity here we also have um, agriculture or in the agricultural industry In the agricultural industry, you have to help us so that we can know when it is raining and when it's not raining, when we should that, when we should go to farm and when we should not. Um, the wind or the atmospheric pressure, the humidity, the precipitation, all those things that help us to farm well, whether in wildlife or in any kind of farming, poultry, vegetables, fruits, and other stuff. And if there is going to be a drought or uh, a, a fall short of um, water, then we have to think of irrigation purposes and um, irrigation mes uh, measures to um, make our farming active or continue. So if you are very good here, you can help us to predict all those things and your services will be needed and will be appreciated. Okay. All right. You can also be a weather forecaster for a lot of industries. For if there is any company that needs a weather forecaster, you can be such a person for them because um, they have to know all those things. Like I said earlier, the airplanes or the aerospace business, and then media companies too. Media companies, media companies. Some radio stations and TV stations or even um, graphic uh, companies also publish the weather for uh, weather, the weather every day. So if you are very good at that place, in fact, they can employ you and you can help them to predict the weather every day on, I mean, on daily basis so that they can help their listeners or their viewers to know what is happening within the day. So you can also work within uh, media companies, all right? You can also become climate change analyst. Climate change analyst. Climate change analyst. Climate, in, in simplest terms, is, is, is um, a change of um, a continuous change of um, weather for over a long period of time. So if there's been um an increased rate of um heat or hotness in the atmosphere in fact you can help us to um map away or to put out some measures to control that so you can also work in you can also work as environmental scientists
also become um, scientists, air quality scientists. You also check what is happening in the atmosphere. If there is, um, there has been um, air pollution. In fact, you can help us, and then you can. Um, give us some measures to control the air pollution. We will also become water quality scientists or hydrologists. 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 If uh, human activity is also um, polluting our water or is causing any damage to our water, you can also help us. If there is being a damage in the atmosphere, like the air quality scientists, you also help us because. This cancer and other um, airborne diseases are caused by how we deplete our environment. So friends, there are lots of job opportunities here if you study this program and if you are interested in helping us, whether in agriculture, in renewable energy, in um, aerospace, in airplanes, in um, whatever business that you think the weather forecasting will be necessary. In fact, pursuing this program is going to be profitable for you. So if you want to go to Kenya University, you have to get aggregate 20, aggregate 20, 20, aggregate 20. In fact, if you want to go to Kenya University, aggregate 20. If you're a WASI candidate, they expect you to be a science student, your chemistry, your physics, and your um, elective math because it's full of mathematics and science. You are going to use science and mathematics so that's that for you if you're also an a level applicant make sure that you have your o level or a level and you have your english and mathematics passed as well as chemistry and physics in your electives and if you also have the wasi you can also attach it and then if you're a mature applicant must be at the age of 25 by the time you're submitting whether with wasi or SSE. so you can also apply make sure that you have aggregate of 20 and it's very good and very nice um course with a lot of career opportunities so friend as we are coming to the end of this video i want you to subscribe to the channel and let this grow thank you